Today I had the great fortune to be talk, talking to John Cheetah, who is the acting executive director here at AUCD and a great colleague of mine. So welcome, John. Thanks for having me, Liz. Glad to be here. You are named the acting executive director. Can you share with the audience what's the difference between an actor executive director and an executive director. Sure. So when an organization like ours has a leadership transition, there needs to be someone who can take over the day-to-day -day operations, uh, run the organization. And in this case, the board decided to put me in that position. In many ways, it is a temporary position. So the board is currently in the process of hiring a search firm and they will do a, a national search, a competitive process. That'll take a number of months. When you're hiring for a position like this, running a, a leading national disability organization, you want to make sure you get the right person. You want to make sure you take the time and make sure you get the best qualified candidate. Can you tell us a little bit uh, who you are. A little bit about who I am. Uh, I am a husband, father, someone who has lived with a disability for 26 years, uh, that uh, I sustained a spinal cord injury. At the time of my uh, accident and acquiring my disability, I worked for the Minnesota House of Representatives, and my job there was as a reporter. When I went back to that same position after uh, I had acquired my disability, I saw very quickly how government in many ways does not work for people with disabilities. People like us need a lot of things in order to be successful. You need a job, you need transportation. You need health care, you need employment. And there are good programs at the state level and the federal level to tackle all those things. So I pretty quickly decided that it wasn't enough for me to just be a reporter anymore. I needed to jump on the other side of the fence. I needed to begin to advocate, uh, not just for myself, but for others with disabilities and uh, I promised myself at that point that I would not take another job unless it was mission oriented and focused on improving the lives of people with disabilities. And so far I've upheld that promise. Thank you. I think it's so interesting that you became a professional in the field mm -hmm. and then you, you became a person with a disability and that's so you can see the other track. This is a very important year for the disability community. It's an anniversary year, as you know, 30th year of the Americans with Disabilities Act. So it's really an opportunity, I think, for all of us to reflect on how far we've come, to renew ourselves, to re-energize ourselves, and recognize that there's still quite a bit of distance yet to go. And uh, in many ways, this is a difficult time in our politics, in our country. I think uh, a lot of us are still trying to advance the promise of not just the Americans with Disabilities Act, but the Olmstead Act to really fulfill and uphold the promise of what our Medicaid program can be for people with disabilities to allow them to lead a full life. So, so I think uh, for the disability community to take this opportunity, this anniversary year, to be proud of everything that we've accomplished in the last 30 years, but to be watchful and mindful that everything that we've achieved is also at risk. I think it's an opportunity for renewal and hope. Um, and if I think about AUCD, uh, we have such tremendous talent in our network across the three parts of our network. Um, all the great work that they're doing across the country and in the territories. I, I think my goal 
and leading AUCD during this uh, interim period before a permanent executive director is chosen is to continue to support them in every way that we can uh, to amplify and to promote the great work that all different parts of our network are doing and I think to continue to look for new and innovative ways to educate the rest of the world as to what our network is doing. There's such tremendous learning there. Uh, the leadership work they're doing, the education work, the advocacy work, the research. Um, it is not just a national model, but an international model that many other people can benefit from and take advantage of. If we can just help get the word out, uh, I think that'll benefit us as an organization. It'll benefit our network, but ultimately it'll benefit people with disabilities. Great. Okay, thank you and have a nice thank you and have a nice day. And thanks, John. Thanks, Liz. Bye.